Got a bad route and want to improve it? Got a good route but think it can be even better? Well, welcome to Waze's worldwide community of map editors. We're glad to have you around. So, let's dive right in. What's the Waze map and why does it need your contribution? First off, Waze's map is the core of our service and basically behind everything we do. Waze's map is unique because it's generated and constantly updated by the Waze community itself. That's how we keep Waze 100% free for our users, and the cool part is that as a result of the contributions of our users, our map is actually the most up-to-date one out there. In fact, in places where the local Waze communities are strongest, our maps are the first to reflect any and all road changes, almost instantaneously. In some countries, we launched with the base map to get local driving communities rolling quicker. The challenges, though, are that sometimes the map's data is inaccurate in a way that can significantly affect routing quality and navigation. While the bulk of the work to fix these map issues is done automatically by the Waze system, some map issues do require human intervention, and that's where you come in. Before we start with the editing itself, there are two things you need to know. First off, you can only edit the map if you are a registered user. If you can't remember your Waze login info, Open the app and enter your profile under My Ways. If you haven't signed up as a registered user, now's a perfect time to do so. Don't worry, you won't lose any data by registering. All of your driving history will migrate over to your new registered account. Second, in order to edit the map, you need to have already driven with Ways. Note that it may take around 24 hours for each drive to be processed and appear in the editor. To avoid unintentional potential damages to the map, there's a permission system in place and it works like this. In the beginning, you can edit all roads within a one mile radius around the places you've already driven, with the exception of heavily driven roads like highways. The more you edit and drive with ways though, the more your permissions will expand. Your permission area is within the black outline shown here, where the map looks clear. So how to get going? First click on the left side in My Places then click on either Drives or Areas I can edit. Take a look at the polygon displaying the areas in which you can edit and look to see if you can identify any problems, like missing street names or incorrect driving directions indicated on the map. Doing a basic scan of an area you're familiar with is one way to make sure that everything's correct, but sometimes there will also be problems reported by other Wazers or ones that our system has automatically identified waiting for you to solve. But before jumping into the more advanced problem solving, you'll want to make sure you understand the editor's environment and basic functions as follows. Basic terms. Segments. Segments are the smallest units that make up the roads. Basically, they're the bits that are between two intersections. Junction points. A junction point is a connection point between two segments or more, which allows you to perform actions on all segments that are connected to it. A junction point appears as a small red dot between segments. Endpoints. Endpoints, represented by a black square, define an available end of a segment. Curve points. Curve points, indicated by white dots along a segment, allow you to alter the segment shape to better reflect the road's actual geometry. Layers window. The layers window is found on the top right corner of the map and allows you to pick which layers of information you want to appear on the map. Satellite image. The satellite image is a great source of information about the structure of the road you're editing, but note that it's not always 100% reliable. The most updated data is actually from the drives that Wazers have recently taken, so if there's a discrepancy between where Wazers have traveled and what appears in the image, it probably indicates recent road changes and therefore an outdated satellite image. Recorded roads. Recorded roads appear on the map as dashed green lines. If you've recorded a road, you'll need to give it a name and connect it at both ends to other roads. Basic editing options. Changing road details or road's driving directions. To change road details or driving directions, first select the segment and then look at its properties in the left panel. Edit the relevant properties such as name of the road or driving direction and then save your work. Changing turn restrictions. When you want to change the allowed turns at an intersection, first select the relevant segment from which the turn is taken and look at the arrows. 
Green arrows with a check mark mean that a turn is allowed, and red arrows with an X indicate that a turn is prohibited. To change the arrow color, simply click them and save your work. Note that gray arrows with a check mark or an X represent turns that Waze currently does or does not allow based on actual drives, but that have not yet been confirmed by a map editor. Changing the shape of a street. To alter a street's geometry, simply select the street, click on its handles one by one, and move them as required until you reach the correct shape, then save your changes. You'll want to make sure to view the corresponding satellite image to verify that the shape you've created is accurate. Note that these changes initially appear in orange and will take effect only after your changes are saved. Adding a road segment. To add a road segment, click the Add button's arrow on the toolbar, then select Road Segment and place it in the appropriate location on the map. You can use the handles to shape and locate the segment, connect it to the relevant roads, and edit its details to the left. Once you're done, you'll want to make sure you review all of the turn restrictions by clicking the segment and checking the arrows. Many problems on the map are created due to incorrect turn restrictions or segments that are not properly connected to one another, so make sure to double-check your work once, then save your changes. Connecting a segment to a road or to a junction. To connect a segment to a road or junction, drag its endpoint towards your desired location. When the end of the segment touches the road or junction, again it will sort of snap together and create a junction point. If the junction was created on an existing road, the road would be split into two segments, both maintaining their previous properties. Merging two segments. To merge two segments, simply remove the junction point that connects them. To do so, select the junction point, delete it, then click Save. Create a bridge. Select multiple segments where your bridge is located and then click on the bridge icon. Doing this will raise the level of the segment selected and form a bridge. And of course, click Save. Merging Junctions To merge two junctions, drag one junction point onto the other and then click Save. Moving the location of a junction point To move the location of a junction, simply drag the junction point along the segment to where it should be and save your work. Adding a point of interest such as a parking lot or gas station to add a point of interest, click the Add button's arrow on the toolbar, select the appropriate landmark, and place it in the right place on the map. If necessary, edit the shape according to the satellite image. You'll then want to edit the landmark's details on the left too, and click Save. As a new Waze map editor, understanding the overall logic of our map editing system will help you to hit the ground running, so before you get started, we wanted to show you a few examples of some problems you might encounter and how to fix them. Problems detected by the system. The first types of map problems you might encounter are ones that are automatically detected by the system. We identify problems by running actual user drives on the map and checking whether or not the route can be taken according to existing road structure, driving directions, and turn restrictions. So when the Waze system identifies a discrepancy between these routes and what's allowable according to the existing map, a problem is identified and its urgency indicated. We determine the severity of the problem by evaluating how many people will be affected by the map error. So naturally, problems in high volume areas will appear as red, while problems in your local neighborhood might appear as yellow. To help you pinpoint the exact nature of problems detected by the system, we've developed this color-coded system. The green line. This line represents an average of several users' actual drives in a specific section of the map. Each of these drives is in fact a sequence of GPS points that create a line with a known direction. Sometimes the green line is not enough to understand the actual problem, so another useful way of understanding what's going on is to look at the raw GPS points themselves, which appear as small arrows, Note that often, GPS points don't exactly match the road structure, though in most cases it really isn't a problem. The pink line. The pink lines show where the system was able to match the drive with existing roads, driving directions, and turn restrictions. Sometimes the green line follows the pink line exactly, but then will cut corners or veer off of the actual street shown on the satellite image. This is due to a slightly inaccurate GPS, but you will generally see a correlation between both lines. A and B pins. 
The parts of the road that could not be matched to the green line will show as a gap in the pink line and will be marked with an A at the start point and B at the end point to indicate that it's unclear how the user drove from A to B given the road structure, driving direction, and turn restrictions. Problems reported by Wazers. The second group of map problems you might encounter aren't generated by the system automatically. They're identified and reported by real Wazers out there on the road or by map savvy visitors to the live map on our website. In this case, the color coding reflects how long ago the problem was reported, with older problems appearing as more urgent. When looking at a problem reported by a Wazer from the road, you'll see the user's actual drive in green, as well as a purple line, indicating the route that Waze proposed to them. To further understand the full picture, the turn-by-turn -turn instructions that Waze provided the user are displayed on the map at turns as well. Try to find where the user stopped following the proposed route and look for potential problems at that point. The problem is often related to wrong driving direction, turns not allowed, or inaccurate driving instructions provided. To get going, click on a map problem and look at its description up top, but note that the description might not always be fully accurate. As mentioned before, when you click on a map problem, the editor will show you three elements, the green line, the pink line, and A and B pins. But from that point, it's up to you to figure out the exact nature of the problem and how to solve it. The following are a few examples of common map problems you might encounter and how to fix them. Missing junction. In this case, the green line shows you that Wazer is turned left at a point that the current map does not allow due to a missing connection. The system does not understand how Wazers got from point A to B. To solve the problem, create the missing junction by connecting the road between segment A to the junction where segment B begins. Then check to make sure that the turn restrictions are correct and save your changes. Missing road segment. You'll see that the Wazers drove along a route that has no representation on the map. However, looking at the aerial image together with the GPS points will usually reveal that there is a road there. Oftentimes, this is a missing highway exit. Add the missing segments between A and B. Check connectivity, define the correct type of the road, and try to define as many details as you can in the property section, such as city, street, etc. Then make sure to save your changes. Wrong road directions. Wazers seem to have driven against the known direction of a road on particular segments. Change the segment's direction to include the driving direction of the Wazers, then save your work. Wrong turn restrictions. Wazers seem to have turned against the known turn restrictions on a particular segment. Select the segment and change the turn restrictions from red to green, then click Save. Connectivity problem. The junction is divided into two separate parts, prohibiting a route from one part to the other. Join the two parts by pulling one junction point to the other until they sort of snap into one. Make sure that the allowed turns are correct and then save your work, as always. Acute angle. Sometimes in sharp angle junctions, the actual turn of the wazers is a bit different from the geometry of the segments on the map. This leads to a gap between the line of where users have driven and the map itself, and therefore, a map problem. Add a small connecting one-way segment along the route that the user actually drove. Misplaced junction. In this case, the line of where users have driven is turning left, even though according to the map, it's impossible. If you look closely, you'll see that the junction is inaccurately positioned, distorting all connected segments. By simply pulling the junction point to the correct point on the map, according to the line of where users have driven and the aerial image, you'll easily fix the problem. Don't forget to check connectivity and turn restrictions before you save your work. Parking lot. When a Wazer drives inside a parking lot, it's a little tricky. Since Waze would not be able to match this drive to a known segment, a map problem is identified. Add a parking lot using the Add button on the toolbar.
Proper naming is also important. If you like, you can also add the main inner roads of the lot. Just make sure you define them as parking lot roads. User reported map problems. User reported map problems are pretty varied, but the basic idea in solving these problems is understanding where the Wazer came from, where they were headed, and what caused them to report the problem and drive in a different route than the one Waze provided. In this example, you can see that the driver continued to drive straight while the Waze route directed him to the left. In addition, the driver added a note reporting that the turn was not allowed. The obvious conclusion in this case is that the turn permission of this junction is wrong and needs to be corrected. Once a map editor changes the arrow from green to red, the problem will be solved. So, that's a brief overview of the Waze map editor. If you have any questions, feel free to consult other editors on the forum or write us your questions at waze.com support. We're always happy to help. Happy editing, Wazers, and keep up the great work.